Today I'm in Switzerland and I'm starting off this video on board a suburban train in Zurich. I'm on the way to Zurich main station at the moment where I'm going to board a train to Innsbruck in Austria. Zurich main station is conveniently located right in the center of Zurich and can be accessed by tramways, buses, local and long distance service trains and as well the suburban trains. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, as we're here in Switzerland at Zurich main station, I will start this video using all the different languages which are here in Switzerland available. So, bonjour et bienvenue au Zurich Gare de Centrale. Buongiorno alla stazione centrale di Zurich. Very warm welcome here at Zurich main station. Herzlich willkommen am Zurich Hauptbahnhof. Servus, beinand. Herzlich willkommen am Hauptbahnhof in Zürich. Grüezi vom Zürich Habe. Zurich Main Station was not busy at all this morning on January 30th, 2022, as I was traveling to Innsbruck. And although I don't have any luggage with me today, I just wanted to show you the luggage rack or luggage storage situation here in Zurich Main Station. Those luggage lockers can be found all over the station and, as you can see here, the prices of those are reasonable cheap for Swiss standards. And the prices vary, of course, by the size of your luggage. And one cool thing here at Zurich Main Station is that you can also pay the luggage lockers by card. Zurich Main Station has a lot to offer when it comes to food, drinks or shopping, so you don't have to bring your stuff to the the train station, you can all get it right here. And you have a lot to choose from as well, so you can either choose to eat Swiss delicacies or you can offer for some international food. You can all get it right here at Zurich Main Station. And this is something from my personal note. Please do not forget to stop at Springley and try one of those very delicious Luxembourgerly, as they call it here in Switzerland. They are pretty much just like Macron in France and they are very, very delicious. But now enough about Zurich Main Station. Let's head over to the platforms and find our train to Innsbruck. Our ride today is a SBB Eurocity service to Graz via Sargans, St. Anton Malberg, Innsbruck and as well Virgil. And there was a bummer as I realized that this one is actually operated with a Swiss train set so I easily could have booked a first class ticket and sit in their observation car but I have not taken this into consideration to be honest as this was a very short decision trip planning that I made so I was thinking that it is an Austrian train set so I was not bothering booking first class this time. The train set itself today was quite spectacular as well, as you can see here as it was put into the station. First of all you have two Austrian cars at the back, then you have your Swiss observation car, followed by a normal Swiss train set, and at the beginning you have as well two Swiss engines. Sagen Sie, Bruchs, Mittagfahrzeit, 8 Uhr 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are still the place to be an entrance stop. We will compose an LCT 163 with the final destination grants via Sun and the Books. Shortly after I boarded the train, it was time for departure, and of course, the departure was on time, just as the Swiss do it, they are always on time. first 30 minutes of the trip are one of the most beautiful views that you will have on the entire trip. You are going right along the shoreline of Lake Zurich. So please make sure to sit on the left side of the train in the direction of travel. After about 30 to 40 minutes into the trip, you will see the first glimpse of the mountains that will appear on the left side of the train as well, after you left Lake Zurich. And after 10 more minutes you will ride along the shoreline of Lake Valen, which is in my opinion one of the most beautiful lakes here in Switzerland and as well in the whole of Europe. So please sit back and relax, I'll ride in the SVB Eurocity along the beautiful Lake Valen, and I will play you some music to enjoy it a bit.
stops in Sargans and books. The direction of travel has changed and right now I'm sitting on the right side of the train and we are facing now against the Alps. Feldkirch and Bludenz, Austria, we are right now starting to tackle to climb up the Alberg Pass, which is the only connection between Vorarlberg and the Tyrol in Austria. And this was the time as I decided to go to the dining car and have some breakfast and I will show you as well the breakfast option that they have here on the train and as well how it looked like. I'm very sorry that I could not exactly show you how it tasted but if you are familiar with Austrian or Swiss trains you can always bet it's a great food that you get on board. I went for a coffee and as well a very healthy breakfast with uh, scrambled eggs and spinach. It came as well with a small bun and as well a multigrain slice of bread and it was presented in a very beautiful way as well. If you compare a standard second class train of the SPB, the Swiss Railway Company, with a first class train set, there you will find a lot of differences. First of all, the second class car is in a two-two configuration and has as well seats facing each other and as well bus row seats. After passing over the Alberg Pass and after going through the Alberg Channel, we are right now descending back down to Tyrol mainland in Austria and this is the final stretch uh, before we hit Innsbruck. There are some stops on the way, just like Ötztal and Landek, and then we are arriving right into Innsbruck main station. As you can see, there is a lot more snow on this side of the mountains than there was as we were climbing up the Alberg Pass. But if you want to have a closer look on this route here in Austria, you can uh, click on the video just like here on the top left corner. Oh, sorry, on the top right corner I just um, made a video card for you where you can watch the whole way from Bludenz, Austria all the way back to London. right now back down in the Inn Valley and on the final stretch into Innsbruck main station. This is the time where I want to sum up the experience that I had today on the SBB Eurocity train from Zurich main station to Innsbruck. Well, first of all, riding a Swiss train is always comfortable and it's as well a stunning service that the SBB is putting into those trains. But beware, riding on an SBB train is not the cheapest thing in the world. So I'm using my SBB Swiss Pass card, which is basically an um, annual card where you get 50% off every ride you are taking. And this one costs 165 euros in 2021 for a whole year. And you get 50% off each ride, either in second or in first class. Compared to our German bank card, this is a pretty amazing deal, as in Germany you have two bank cards. The first one is for first class, the second one is for second class, and those are pretty expensive compared to the Swiss one. And to sum up the experience on today's trip, I want to say that uh, this is one of the most beautiful train tracks that you can find in Europe.
You're starting off at uh, Zurich, uh, following alongside Lake Zurich to the Lake Wallen area. Then you're going over to uh, Sargans, Bux, Feldkirch and Bludenz, where you're going to tackle up the Arbeck Pass. You're going through one of the most longest railway tunnels in Austria, the Arlberg Tunnel, and you're descending down into the Inn Valley again to Londek. After a short stop in uh, Ötztal, you will continue your way on to Innsbruck. So this is basically the end of the video from today's trip from Zurich to Innsbruck, but um, this was not the end for me today. I was going to go skiing with a couple of friends at our ski hut here in Austria and I had my drone with me, so there will be a lot of drone footage at the end of today's video. So if you like those kind of footages, just leave me a comment down below in the comment section and let me know what you thought about the shots I took, what I can improve and if you want to see uh, shots like this in the future as well. But I was yapping on and on for a very long time already, so um, yeah, basically this is everything what I wanted to say to you after watching this video. And um, once again, as always, thank you for watching today's video. If you like my video, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to. It's free and we can grow this one into a bigger community all together. And yeah, until the next time, I can only say you this one, just keep on exploring. Thank you for watching and goodbye.